Hey guys, what's up? It is JDog117 here, bringing you back with another commentary. Uh, today I'm going to be going through all the uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 settings. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, first, you want to go 3 to the left on the main menu, and you'll get the options. Um, there are four categories. Controls, gameplay, audio, video. It's pretty self-explanatory. So let's go to controls. Um, a lot of people don't think that there's levels to the sensitivity. They think it's just um, like it just goes like down and like I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. But there's actually ticks to it. There's like markers. And if you count it out, there's 15. Um, I like to play and, and, and right now it's at zero, let's say. Default is um, I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Default is three. Um, I like to play on eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah. And uh, once again, like I said in my previous video, that's really helpful to mess around with. Um, if you feel like you can't turn around or look fast enough to shoot people, or you might want to lower it if it's too fast because you feel like you keep aiming over people, like you keep bringing your uh, crosshairs way too fast past them. Vertical look is the same thing as um, invert uh, axis or whatever, or I, I forgot what it is called in uh, Black Ops. But basically, if it's normal, uh, when you look, when you press up, it looks up. When you press down, it looks down. If it's inverted, when you press up, you look down. When you press down, you look up. I like to keep it normal. Vertical flight. Um, I think uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, if when you fly helicopters or whatever, if it's inverted normally, uh, so if that's the case, normal would be when you press up on the D-pad, or sorry, up on the th on the stick, uh, you'll go down, and down on the stick, you'll go up. I think it's not inverted right away, so I just think it's normal, like, vertical look, but um, that does the same thing as vertical look, just with helicopters. Soldier buttons, uh, this is your button layout when you're running around. Um, Bad Company 1, if you guys are used to Bad Company 1, um, change it to Bad Company 1, because then that will switch, um, melee and switch weapons to what it was in Bad Company 1. Um, I think a lot of people are familiar with this, um, from, uh, uh, Battlefield 1943 as well. Lefty, um, changes fire and melee to the left side. Um, and it changes zoom and throw grenade to the right side. Everything else is the same. Uh, BC1 lefty, it's just Battlefield 1, or Bad Company 1 controls, uh, switch to lefty. I like to play on default. Soldier sticks. Um, these change the sticks when you are on foot. I play on default. Um, I've been through Southpaw. Legacy, Legacy Southpaw with you guys in the Black Ops video. Um, they basically just completely fuck up the controls. Honestly, I don't know why anybody would use these settings. Um, in the comments below, if you guys can, if you know the answer, please post uh, why people would use these, where they originated from, and if there is any advantage. Because honestly, I fucking tried to play with these, and they're just, they're awful for me. I don't know. Um, land buttons. This is for when you are in vehicles. Um, I like to play on Bad Company 1. Not because I'm used to Bad Company 1, but I just find it a lot easier to have throttle and brake um, right next to each other as opposed to having throttle and brake on the sticks and then having to move my finger to fire because I always want to be able to fire without having to fucking move my finger. So, yeah. Um, lefty. Same thing as default, just uh, throttle and fire switched, break and alternate fire switched. Uh, BC1 is Bad Company 1, but lefty, you guys get the drift. I like to play on Bad Company 1. Uh, land sticks, this is, once again, in vehicles, Southpaw, Legacy, Southpaw, uh, Legacy. I like to play default. Um, air buttons, this is for when you are in... A helicopter um, I think it is uh, 
easiest to plan default. Um, but I have to be honest, I have not changed it. to I've not used any other setting, so I'm not really sure. But I've gotten really good with default, in my opinion, so I don't really feel like changing it. Um, so yeah, air sticks, just once again, Southpaw, Legacy, Legacy Southpaw. Um, vibration, you can change the vibration settings uh, in increments uh, in Bad Company. Um, you can have it off. And people like to have it off sometimes because it interferes or freaks them out or, you know, whatever. If you guys have, like, seizures or some shit from that, I don't know. Uh, weak. Fairly strong. Strong. I just keep it on fairly strong. Gameplay. Um, most of this is uh, is actually really helpful. I don't know why uh, people have this off. Um, I kept subtitles on because in the campaign... I felt like it was really hard to understand what people were saying, so I kept subtitles on. This does not turn subtitles on for multiplayer, just for campaign. Um, you should probably have all these on. I, uh, I mean, aim assist, once again, is extremely useful. I feel like I have wall hacks, because if somebody's behind a wall or something, or like, kind of popping out, but I can't really see them, um, and I walk past them, my cursor will drag towards them. Um, and I can tell that they're nearby and I've actually been in the upstairs of um, a building or whatever and there's somebody below me and it like dragged the cursor like below me it was pretty pretty legit um, hint system this uh, this tells you um, like what, what I, I don't know I haven't really noticed anything because I've always had them on so um, Enable weapon and vehicle hints when playing. I'm trying to think of what that is. Um, I think that is just when, uh, like, you're in a vehicle, and on each side it, it says press these buttons to do this. Like, press this. It's like it's like a gray panel with the buttons, and then it says, like, this is throttle, this is brake, this is fire. Um, reload hint. This just says press X to reload if you have this turned on. I find this all really useful. Audio. Okay. Uh, one of the most important settings because it can really alter your gameplay. Um, I think all my shit is on default um, right now except for the sound options. Um, master is every single sound. And this is like the master volume. Like this is changing the volume on your TV basically if you uh, mess with this. I keep it at max because I can always just change the volume on my Turtle Beaches. Uh, music... This is, uh, you know, really preference-wise. If you guys don't like to hear a lot of music when you're playing, um, if you think it's distracting, shut uh, shut this down. You can put it all the way down, or you can just leave it a little bit down. I think this is default. Uh, dialogue. I will get into dialogue in games um, later, but this is extremely important. Dialogue, like when you shoot somebody... And you hear another thing say man down or whatever. I will get into that in a later video. But this is extremely useful to hear that dialogue. Because this dialogue can be game changing for you. Um, I like to keep it default just because I've gotten so used to it. Um, you guys can turn it up. I highly suggest you keep it at least at the level that I have it at. Um, sound options. I use Turtle Beach X41s. And I went through every single uh, option. And I found Hi-Fi to be my favorite. Um, TV is basically like stereo. There's not really surround sound. It's just like if you have external speakers on your TV, you want to put this on. Um, Hi-Fi. I have no freaking idea what Hi-Fi is. I just found out, though, that, uh, that for me, with my Total Beach X41s, I find these to be the best setting. Um, everything sounds clear. Everything I can hear footsteps. I can hear everything in every single direction above me below me left right forward back everything um, I found this to be the best setting Home cinema if you guys have external speakers um, Around your living area. You probably want to put this one on um, Of course you can mess with other settings like TV and hi-fi, but it's probably what you're gonna want to use headphones um, I feel like headphones is only useful if you have uh, headphones that are not surround sound. Um, so if you have Turtle Beach X11s, 
uh, you probably want to use these um, war tapes. This is actually the sickest sound system you could possibly pick. Um, I love it personally, but I do not use it for one good reason. Um, you cannot hear little cues as to like where enemies are. So I can't hear footsteps. Um, I can't hear reloading. I can't hear voices. And it's not that I can't hear them. It's that it's very hard to hear them. Because when you turn war tapes on, and I suggest everybody try it because it works with any sound system. When you turn war tapes on, it freaking adds like explosion sounds and like helicopters everywhere and like it just sounds amazing but uh i like to use hi-fi so yeah voiceover language um this is i think this changes um what do you call it um oh okay so basically say i'm playing on the russian team when our team is talking they will talk in english but with a russian accent um if you have original, original, you and you're on the Russian team, they will talk um, Russian, and you will not be able to understand them. So just keep this local. Uh, I suggest enemy team voiceover uh, localized. It will change uh, it to your language, so you can understand what they're saying. Um, I like to keep it on original because then it distinguishes between the two teams, and I can tell. Uh, you know who's who what what's what and i can you know distinguish between whether or not it's a friendly that got shot or it's an enemy that got shot i'll explain that later in another video when i talk to you about audio cues video um just like black ops um you want to adjust the brightness and contrast so all shapes are visible um i like to have my brightness up in most games um to a point where it doesn't get washed out now for me on my tv it might be different because you guys are watching this on an ipod or an iphone or a computer monitor but for me um these settings are perfect right here um i can see the white uh i can see a gray box slightly in the white box and i can't and i can see this like very faint gray box inside the black box and then everything at the bottom i can see each individual segment um so yeah, you guys want to mess around with this and uh, change it. If you guys ever screw up any setting though, just make sure or to remember that you can always press Y to reset settings. And then it says, are you sure you want to reset these values? Click A for OK. If you don't, press B. And uh, yeah, so um, I will go in later detail in another video about audio cues, how they're helpful, why they're helpful, what you can listen for etc so uh yeah and um in the comments below i have a question for you guys um what did you do over uh this holiday season of 2010 it's actually uh 2011 right now pretty exciting guys not gonna lie um but uh what did you guys do for break uh did you go anywhere do you get any new video games post in the comments below i will see you guys soon rate comment subscribe peace out everybody